who you really are. Hear me, humans. Hear, yet do not think. Do not speak. Feel. Put your right hand over your chest and feel there is a being that is alive. I cannot give you the who you really are by telling you words. You can read books, you can talk using language, you can ponder, you can search the planet. None of these will tell you who you are. It must be perceived. You must arrive to open to feel it. You cannot get there through your brain, through thinking. The first step then, logically, is to cease the thoughts. Stop thinking for a while. You can do this by sitting still. Many of you will need total silence in order to concentrate. Silence is the doorway. In the beginning, total silence in your room, in your office space, or in your car, where you will remain undisturbed for a few moments and breathe. Place your right hand over your heart. Feel the heartbeat. Notice how quickly thoughts come in or you are thinking this or that. That is fine. The thoughts will arise. Some thing is aware that you are thinking. This is true. Don't just believe what I say. Look for yourself. There must be a part of you, an intelligence, we will say, that is back behind the thinker. We call this consciousness, aliveness, your presence. You feel it immediately when you are quiet, silent. Pay attention to the rhythm of the thought. Just observe the thoughts and breathe. Through this practice, you are breathing, you are feeling the rhythm of your heart, you are noticing thoughts. Through repetition, which is the only way through the doorway, to repetitively go through the doorway, you will begin to sense something beyond, something that is aware that you are here, a presence, or an inner light, the light bulb. These are not your thoughts. There is something backed behind all this, all this noise in the head. As you perceive this, you will also know that it is a peaceful consciousness. There is peace. Notice how quickly your mind will interject the thoughts giving you stories to follow, reasons why you should not be quiet, reasons why you have better things to do other than sit in silence. 
that is what ego is. Something within you observes all of this. Who is the seer? Who is the intelligence that is able to look, to perceive? That is who you are. You cannot get there though with your opinions and stories by talking about it or thinking about it. It is a feeling movement. You are feeling it in this moment. Be still and in silence every day. For many of you, it will require total silence and numerous times per day. For some, you are already there. The true I, the I am, is consciousness. It is beyond the thinking mind. You are not your car. You are not the things, the forms that you have in your life. You are not even the idea that you have of yourself. The roles that humans play, the attachments and the identifying with the noise, the thoughts in the head. You take your thoughts, you believe them to be true, to be you and create a world based off of this which is very limiting and mostly insane. I will tell you plainly, you are energy that is free and liberated from forms. As an energy field goes, you are not created nor destroyed. You are limitless. And you are vibration. It befuddles the mind. And you can readily experience this as you step into timelessness through silence. Be more with yourself every day and discovery of who you really are. It will come of its own. Your consciousness which is to evolve It is wanting to come forward. The soul, the collective soul, is wanting to evolve. You are hearing this. Because it is the inner you, the true I, that wishes to grow. And you are growing. Hear this message numerous times throughout your day. Hearing it once does not create the stickiness in your psyche that is required.
still thinking that you are flesh and bones? Hear this message again and again until you believe it.